Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. As always, if it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And so today, we're going to have a look at a, a fantastic set of binoculars. First, uh, we've just recently started stocking these, and it's the Celestron Regal ED Flat Field 8x42, and they also come in at a 10x42. And as always, if you, if you want to support our channel, and I know that a number of you have done, uh, you can purchase from the link in the description below or better still pop along and see me or to see more importantly see these <coughs> at our optics weekends um, just give us a call beforehand to make sure we have them in stock but first of all we'll just have a quick look at the packaging and what you get with it or with them so it's a slightly oversized box here with the where you took the size in that like so to open it up like that rather than a, a lid that just lifts straight on and off and right so that is oversized because inside it believe me inside there there is a, um, a chest harness and I believe it's the same one you get with the trail seekers you get as per many binoculars like this the standard all-in-one for the eyepiece lens caps and the drop down for the uh, eyepieces. Um, a rather disappointing microfiber cleaning cloth for a set of binoculars costing over £360 but I'm sure if you ask the dealer that you buy it from, hopefully us, very nicely I'm sure they'll put a better one in for you, that's not a problem. And lastly a very nice case there with, with zippers which are metal. Um, I've known some uh, other, other manufacturers do some plastic um, zipper buckles and they do tend to break but these are metal that's, that's very nice and it comes with a nice little handle there to hold it so that's the accessories so oh nearly forgetting a padded strap with with celestron on it so flat field technology basically um it has a field flattener field flattener lenses built in to these and that could answer one question because they weigh, uh, I believe, 768 grams. So they're not the lightest in class. And that, that could be partly to do with the build quality, uh, but also the extra lenses, the, the field flattener um, that's in each, each barrel. And uh, a lot of people that know me, or I, I always say that the same thing. You know, I, I don't say binoculars are heavy. I say they are well built. And these really do feel like a solid piece of kit. Come with a lifetime warranty and they're probably going to last you a lifetime providing you look after them. Very, very easy to handle. And uh, the eye relief on these is quoted as just over 22 millimeters. I found um, with them fully twisted out, I, I could just get the full field of view without my glasses on. No problem with glasses on with them twisted in with that length of eye relief. Um, I personally, myself, prefer to put them in halfway and dress them on my forehead. But but everybody's different. We're, we're not all made the same. Uh, yeah, my my eyes might be two or three millimeters further back from my forehead or closer um, th than the next person along that comes and, and looks through these. And so when I say that I like to have them halfway down myself, that's just personal preference. You may prefer them like that, and that is not a problem. So, so despite the, the extra weight, they are very, very easy to balance in the hands. Uh, the focuser, it's, it's not quite um, silky smooth uh, as per the Hawk EDX, but very, very nice. And there are no um, tight, spot, you know, uh, tight spots at, at all, no, no free play. And on the subject of close focus, um, very, very impressive with these. It's uh, quoted down to about one and a half metres which um, I'm, I'm fearing doing a comparison here with the EDX light, but the EDX does have some advantages over these, which I'll come on to. Um, 1.5 metres, and you know what it's like with, with some binoculars, you get a very close focus, but you, you find you're getting like almost, almost a double vision, you can't quite get it into one. No problem with these. I actually found it easier with the eye cups twisted fully out, and I focused like 1.5 metres away, and there was no eye strain at all. So if you like looking, up close things such as your bugs and your butterflies 
as you're walking on the nature trail you don't want to desert um, disturb them these are absolutely fantastic close focus binoculars so we have ED glass fully multi-coated BAK4 prisms dielectric coated so it's pretty much a top spec binocular yeah okay there's not the amount of um, chromatic aberration uh, reduction that you get with the Hawk Apos but remember these are of a retail currently of 369 and the Hawk Apos over 600 so so you still do get extremely low levels of chromatic aberration um, seems to be more blue and green um, colour fringing with these I find than, than some binoculars where you get a, 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 um, a red uh, halo around subjects but as I've mentioned before chromatic aberration or, or colour fringing false colour however you want to describe it 95% of the time you, you won't see any it's only when you look at very very high contrast subjects or, or as I do and I always check my binoculars I look at very heavily backlit branches and, and that is pushing them to the extreme and the the sharpness of the branches and uh, the, the levels of chromatic aberration are very very low again not quite on the level as the Hawk Capos but these are what you know considerably less so in in this price range you really can't grumble so flat field technology technology so I'm going to do a quick comparison again against the the Hawk EDX that have a little bit of pincushion distortion with these it's gone perfectly flat edges and um, tack sharp almost to the edge and so that that's what you get with these that flat field technology and um, so I'm, I'm not going to write off the EDX because they have some advantages as well they probably handle slightly better due to the smooth focuser easier to use um, if, if you're single-handed using, using them you know for example walking the dog you get slightly wider field of view with the Hawk EDX Eight and I think a slightly brighter view but you get that flat field technology you know for edge to edge clarity with these and you you will not be disappointed and um, looking into the shadows no problem at all with low light observing uh, I often mention it um, the um, connectors here for, for the, the, the strap no problem they're, they're quite shallow these they don't dig into your hands at all so we'll just do the the twist eye cup test so we'll twist it out and I'll push in without twisting they're not moving halfway they're not budging so they do stay nicely in place that, that's good I know there are some binoculars that I've tested where you do the push test and you can push them in the eye cups in without uh, having to uh, twist them but yeah I'm very impressed with the binoculars um, not the lightest in class but that is uh, but as I mentioned before that's because of the build quality and that built-in flat field technology with the um, with the field flattener built in into each barrel but um, lovely wide eyepieces as you can see I've, I've not measured them at the moment so very very user-friendly and uh, I found that when viewing uh, for a long time on the same subject, on the same subject, that there is no eye strain whatsoever. So a great set of binoculars. Uh, if you're out and about, um, if you if you're not a fan of the the neck strap, there is the the chest harness that you get with it, and so that's very makes them very good value for money. And um, a cracking set of binoculars. So just to repeat, if you want to support our channel, and I know a number of you have. Um, please uh, you can purchase on the link in the description below and I know a number of you give me a, um, drop me an email or a phone call to uh, if you want to have a little bit of a, a longer chat about these I'll I'll, I'll um, be happy to talk to you so as always I hope this helps thanks very much for watching and as always please check out the link in the description below